see if I can record the misery. <laughs> Well, got a lot done uh, on the planter. Got all the uh, boxes back on. And uh, now just got some hydraulic lines made up today. So I got uh, six lines made up, uh, three for each wing. And then got uh, two made up for the, the vacuum motor. Uh, so I'm just gonna finish putting them on. As you can see right here, that's kind of where we teed into the lines here on the the existing uh, uh, cylinder here for the Delta Force and just fed them along with the vacuum line to go out to the wing here and uh, just have them going in right here. So just got to do that for this side uh, and then hook up the vacuum lines and then I think I'll hook the tractor back up. So as you can see, I got the planter and the lorry all hooked up and connected and on the tractor to make sure everything works. I'm going to call this complete for now. I still got, uh, I don't know, a few days work left on it. Just some odds and sods, some parts. I got to get some, uh, I think I talked about some of those wheels yet for the wings on the toolbar here on the back of the planter. Uh, basically just want to put a, a wheel that comes at the front here that stops this from gouging a little bit at least kind of hold it up uh, the down pressure with the hydraulic cylinders on the row units are pretty good for adjusting for that kind of stuff but I figure it's probably a good idea to to have uh, those on the wings just to protect things but I uh, got the air compressor mounted on here Got to get some wiring for it. I'm going to do a, a big wiring harness uh, kind of back there by that uh, power distribution box for the uh, B sets. Uh, I'm going to run some heavy gauge wire from the back of the tractor. Uh, there's these special Anderson uh, connectors that are, I have one hooked up already on the planter uh, for the for the planter uh, on the tractor, my old planter anyways. Uh, so I'm going to use that connector, run it back here and then put a kind of just dis distribution box for power. Uh, that'll be uh, switch powered using a, a 12 volt relay and I'll use some power off the trailer hitch connector there uh, so that we can have some key power that will energize the relay to put the power through so the compressor is not going to run on its own uh, at night when uh, we're not planting but uh, overall it was uh, pretty good getting it all connected uh, you'll see that clip or you probably saw that clip in the video uh, it takes two people, but uh, it wasn't that bad. Uh, I was pretty happy about how how it was to back up. So it makes me feel pretty comfortable about unhooking it and, and hooking it back it up, back up again. Uh, not that I want to do it all the time, but uh, uh, it's not as difficult as I thought it'd be. 
When you're looking at uh, all the complications, uh, there's lots of hydraulic lines on the planter, wiring harnesses here, airlines for the clean sweeps, uh, all kind of going through here. Uh, the stuff from the Raven. Uh, this is the uh, the power connector I was talking about, the Anderson. So, uh, as I said, I'll just be taking a line back to the back. I haven't cleaned any of this up yet because I got to unhook this anyways to do some other stuff. So I just wanted to make sure it all worked. But overall, I'm really uh, super happy with how it turned out. Would I do it again? Yep. Uh, would I do it right away again? Nope. Um, but uh, it wasn't that bad. Uh, you know, uh, I kind of had my mind wrapped around it. Uh, so I kind of knew what I was in for. And uh, it's a pretty sick looking outfit. Um, and uh, I think we'll have some in action videos coming up this spring to give you a, a lowdown on how it's working. The one thing that I am going to try to do yet is hopefully before. Uh, we go full steam into corn planting. I want to get this out in the field, uh, some soybean stubble, uh, and just run it really shallow and light, not a lot of down pressure. I just want to make sure uh, everything lines up right. So when you look at this now, I want to make sure the fertilizer opener is three inches off the side of the, the row unit back here. So just want to make sure that those are the right distance apart this way and that uh, we got three inches of separation because uh, that's what I'm going for is about three by three fertilizer band so three inches over and three inches under the seed uh, just because of uh, the salt index of the products we're using uh, but yeah I ran it in the yard on Friday uh, to make sure the swath control and the metering system all works so uh, the Raven encoders right here uh, that monitors the shaft speed uh, here's your drive uh, for the meters and then uh, down in here as I show I think I showed you before in the first video uh, these are just hydraulic cylinders for the Rocha off so this is a meter here that kind of spills the fertilizer out and these shut off each section so there's four sections so uh, when I had the uh, it run in the yard I'll show you on the monitor in a, a few minutes uh, the section control all worked really well. The drive worked right. Uh, everything seemed to be good. So I was pretty happy with that. So I think that's kind of this part of it. Uh, I'll maybe hop up into the tractor cab uh, and just give you a quick lowdown on the electronics and what's in there. So just inside the, uh, the tractor cab now and this is the uh, window of all the stuff I got going on. And uh, I'll just run you through it quick. So basically we got our scale head for the uh, the Alari cart for the fertilizer so it will tell me how many pounds of product I have back there so it's going to make calibration of the system really really good and I can watch you know flowability as the, the day goes on if we get some humidity and the fertilizer isn't going out as quick I can do some adjustments based on you know keeping track with the, the scale here this is a clean sweep it runs the uh, row cleaners so I can lift them with the handle going this way or I can put force down on them putting the handle this way and uh, just kind of control it there with the air lines going back to that air compressor uh, the air compressor line comes in here and feeds it and then two go out to run either the lift or the lower on the uh, clean sweeps uh, this is just a controller that runs the fold uh, left and right are separate so you gotta fold one side then hit the switch and fold the other side I gotta get that mounted up here yet but uh, that's where that's going to go and it's powered just by one of those three plug electrical connectors and then uh, it also powers the scale head up here as well so and over here we have the 2020 and the iPad that kind of shows uh, the display of the field as planted um, it doesn't really show much right now I think it's connected but anyways it's lost Oh, there's the planter tractor so it kind of does a, a planning map as it goes and then the 2020 is running the seed meters uh, seeding rate down pressure and also the liquid fertilizer um, it's not really talking a lot right now because it's not connected to the row units because I'm missing that one wire uh, but that kind of runs everything and 
the switches here run the sections and auto swath and stuff like that so uh, it's a very intuitive system and I've been really happy I've been running it for a lot of years so uh, and then lastly this is my egg leader Integra right hand side here you can see that that's the ISO bus a Raven wedge box connection so that comes from the RCM so that's what's running the Alari cart fertilizer application uh, and it's uh, it was pretty easy you just plug it into the back of the tractor and uh, the, the egg leader system here basically picks up that messaging off the CAN bus system and, and displays the information on the uh, the screen here so up here you can see it's the how many pounds per acre we're shooting for so that's the target rate and then this is the actual applied so it's zero right now because we're not applying anything uh, shaft speed or how, sorry how many pounds per minute uh, product we're putting out acres per hour all this kind of stuff uh, and then down here we have the section control uh, that, that runs it so it's pretty simple we got speed there there's a whole bunch of calibrations in behind the scenes uh, through the settings uh, there you can see but it's kind of nice I can run all this just with my egg leader monitor uh, so as I said I was kind of using that on Friday and uh, it was pretty simple to use uh, and if I want to change the rate I actually have to do it on the egg leader side so I'll just go over here and you can see it, it's got a target rate that I have in here if I want to go 300 pounds it moves it over to 300 pounds and if I go back to the virtual terminal and bingo it changes automatically so the swath control is all done through the egg leader and it tells uh, the raven when to shut sections off uh, the only thing that um, maybe is not the nicest is that my switch box here doesn't work at all for the system um, I got to do it with a, a foot switch so when I'm in the field I have to turn it on as you can see the master here went green so the system's on I just got to run the foot switch but with auto swath uh, it'll be pretty simple because I'll just be able to kind of pull into the field and once I start painting green uh, here uh, it will know not to run so a few signs we got figured on it yet um, basically like uh, look ahead so how soon to turn on the fertilizer product to make sure that you know we have it hitting the ground when it needs to be uh, I'm assuming it's probably going to be around three seconds but I'll have to do some of those measurements but uh, and then uh, the auto steer part uh, just basically runs through uh, through here on the egg leader side so I can watch the tractor and the auto steer here and I can watch my fertilizer here got all my planting stuff here and then just to make sure that fertilizer is going on right I got my scale head scale head over here so all in all I'm uh, pretty happy with how the electronics went with this system too now mind you I haven't started planting yet so there might be some hiccups but uh, it was pretty pretty intuitive uh, making sure everything was connected and working right uh, we got some updates yet to do on the row unit uh, modules uh, but I can't do that until I get my my wiring harness so I'm gonna probably end up parking the planter for a week here or more got some corn to ship and some soybeans to ship and I got to work on my air seeder as well uh, it needs new uh, opening discs on it so uh, we'll probably unhook this tractor put it on the air seeder run the air seeder in the shop here and, and work on that but the series around the planter is probably uh, as I call it over for now uh, there might be a few add-ons uh, as we get closer to spring and, and I think there will be probably a big video coming up uh, late spring kind of after we get through planting uh, with some uh, footage of it out in the field and also just kind of a uh, I guess a buyer review on how the system worked and, and if we were happy with it so with that, I want to thank everyone who took time to watch uh, all the different videos I did around this system. As I said, I had a lot of fun. Uh, appreciate all the encouragement I got and, and help along the way, and, and I hope you enjoyed. So again, thanks for watching.